Hey, how's it going? I'd like to buy a knife. Sure. What kind of knife are you looking for? I'm not sure. It's my first time buying one. What do you recommend? What are you going to do with it? I'm just going to put it in my survival kit. I saw a video on YouTube that said if I'm going to spend a lot of time outdoors, I should probably carry a knife. I've got just the thing for you. Are you sure? It seems a little excessive. Nah, it's perfect. Trust me, I work in the camping department. Okay, thanks for all your help. Hey guys, Larry here with Outdoor Guy Photo. Welcome back to another episode. Have you guys ever gone shopping and had an employee at a department store or some sort of big box store give you completely the wrong advice about something you were looking for and they thought they could give you advice just because they happen to work in the department where the item you were looking for is located? I've had that too. Well, today I'm gonna try to give you guys some real tips from someone who actually knows a little bit about what they're talking about, about how to choose the first pocket knife for yourself. So you guys probably know there are a ton of pocket knives out there, folding knives, fixed blade knives, multi-tools, Swiss army knives, credit cards that have knives hidden inside of them. There are so many different types. How are you supposed to decide? They're made out of steel, they're made out of titanium, they have long handles, short handles, there's big knives, small knives, every other kind of knife you can imagine. So today I'm gonna try to help you make that decision, guys. I'm not gonna be getting super technical, don't worry, this isn't for knife experts. I'm just gonna try to answer a few simple questions to get you guys out there with your very first pocket knife if you have no idea what to buy when you walk into a store. So before you go in and try to buy a knife at a store, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is ask yourself a few questions. What are you gonna use it for? How are you gonna carry it? How often are you gonna use it? How big are your hands? So once we're able to answer these questions, you're gonna be a lot closer to figuring out what kind of knife is the right one for you to buy. Uh, now we're gonna hop back inside and I'm gonna tell you guys all about why these are the right questions to ask, what some potential answers to these questions might be so we can figure out what we're looking for, and then I'm also gonna to touch on a couple other things you might wanna look at when you're looking for the first pocket knife. All right, see you inside. Oh, much better, hey guys. So what are you gonna be using your knife for? Are you gonna be using it for prepping food? Are you gonna be using it for whittling sticks around the campfire? Are you gonna be using it for like really intense bushcrafting and trying to build an entire shelter? If you're doing food prep, you're probably gonna wanna go with a slimmer knife design, something with a very narrow blade because it doesn't bite into the food as much. Whereas if you're doing something like intense bushcrafting and you're cutting a lot of rope, cutting through a lot of wood, you're probably gonna wanna pick a knife that's a little more sturdy and industrious, probably a full tang fixed blade knife, something like that. How are you gonna carry it? Are you gonna wear it around your neck? Are you gonna put it on your belt, stick it in your pocket, carry it in your bag, or even just leave it in the glove compartment in your car? Deciding how you wanna be able to carry your knife is obviously gonna impact the style of knife you're gonna get because you're not gonna get a really large fixed blade knife if your only option of carrying it is in your pocket. That just doesn't make any sense. How often are you gonna be using this knife? Are you gonna be using it all the time, like every day or every weekend? Or are you just gonna be sticking it in your bag and completely forgetting about it in case you need it in an emergency? The reason that this is important to ask is because you wanna go with a harder metal knife, something that's actually made out of high carbon steel or stainless steel, if you're gonna be using it all the time, and if you're not gonna be using it that often, then maybe you're okay with a softer metal like titanium because it actually is a fraction lighter, so if you're packing it in with survival kit, you don't notice the weight as much. But it's a softer metal, so it's gonna dull faster, so you have to keep that in mind. The other thing to keep in mind with stainless steel and high carbon steel, stainless steel isn't going to rust. High carbon steel will rust unless you keep it dry and oiled, so just keep that in mind. How big are your hands? Seems like a weird question, but the reason I asked it is because you wanna make sure that you have an appropriate sized handle and blade for the size of your hands. If you have a blade and handle that are way too long for your really small hands, it's gonna be really hard to control. And if you have a knife that's really, really tiny in really, really big hands, it has the danger of slipping back into the palm and actually cutting the person using the knife. So remember, for safety's sake, you wanna make sure that you get a knife that is the appropriate size for your hands. Now, as far as the style of knife or the different types of knife, there's a whole ton of them. Big knives, small knives, folding knives, hunting knives, tactical knives, army knives, multi-tools. 
Credit card knife. Locking blade knives. Pen knives. Old knives. New knives. Wow. That's a lot of knives, but the good news is it really only comes down to about two of them when you guys actually want to buy your first knife. So if I'm only carrying one knife with me all day long, it's going to be one of these two types of knife. It's either going to be a fixed blade, full tang sheath knife. And what that means is you have a blade that doesn't fold. It's attached to the handle. It's fixed. The full tang is this part right here. It means that the blade goes all the way down the length of the handle, and that's gonna make it as sturdy and strong as it can possibly be. And then, again, it's gonna be in a sheath, which means that I can either put this into my bag and not worry about cutting myself if I reach into my bag. I can wear this on my belt, or I can actually, I have some different straps that I can strap this to my pocket and stuff like that. And the second one that you might wanna consider is a folding lock blade knife. The reason you want to go with a lock blade is because it won't slip closed on you when you're using it, which means that it's going to be as safe as possible. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, well, what about the multi-tools and the Swiss Army knives? They all have all these extra things and the screwdriver and the bottle opener and everything. It's amazing. They're nice to have as maybe a secondary knife. Keep that in your survival kit. But personally, I highly recommend one of these two styles of knives if you're only gonna be carrying one because they're going to be the most functional and they're going to serve you best if you get into a situation where you really need a knife. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or tips you have about buying knives. I'd really love to hear from you guys. And uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in what I'm putting out because there's gonna be a ton more content coming your way. Thanks for watching.